at the Bartley Corporation, and I um, help out in business development for residential. I have Jim Bartley, uh, who's our owner and president, and he is at one of our job sites. We are a concrete uh, subcontractor in the DC metro area. And so he's gonna give you a peek into a current project that we have going on. Uh, Andy Bartley is also representing Bartley and he is our other owner, uh, executive vice president. And George, uh, you're here. He is our director of business development. So we're gonna start off with um, a short, less than two minute video that will give you um, an overview of who we are and what we do. And then we're gonna take you to Jim who is live on a job site. And we're gonna let George give a little um, insight into some of the technology tools that we use with our team of people, Huddle and Slack. Then we'll do a question and answer for our team and then we will do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay. oh, I thought you were on. George is coming on in one second. So Andy's going to share his screen and, and share our um, video with you, and then we'll come back to Jack. From the time I was a little boy, I kind of knew that uh, I wanted to be a builder. But one of the things I became intrigued with was concrete. It's a miracle product. They take stuff from the earth and you're able to make rock and mold with it. The Romans knew how to do it and did it very well. We offer a turnkey package which includes the simplest things as the, the silt fence, the construction entrance. We want to be a part of the pre-construction meeting with the county. We'll handle the demolition all the way through excavation, uh, then go right into footings, walls, waterproofing, drain tile, and then our excavation department will come back and then backfill the house and essentially delivering the builder uh, a finished product that the builder can continue construction. We spend a great deal of time figuring out the right technology to save labor and time on our projects, allowing us to cover an area of Maryland, Northern Virginia, out to West Virginia, and across to the Eastern Shore. We at Bartley have a team of about 130 people. Uh, we have a blend of field and office personnel that really work like a family together. All, all the people that are part of our team really have bought into our process. And our process is quality and, and service to the customer. you um, a little overview of who we are and now we're going to take you to one of our current jobs that's going on in Kensington and okay. Jim is going to walk you through what we've done there and what our our teams are doing there this morning. Jim? Good morning. Uh, we are currently working on waterproofing of a foundation that we uh, have recently installed and I'll uh, give you a little tour. For starters, we have a uh, drain board getting rolled out and ready to be installed on the wall. Um, and I'll bring you to the foundation so that we can see our process for what we're doing today. So on this uh, residential foundation, uh, we're currently in the waterproofing stage, the um, waterproofing can be applied to our foundation immediately following strip out because it's a water-based product. It's a commercial grade waterproofing that we use for our commercial work and our residential work. It is a waterproofing system. Uh, as you can see on this corner, the ties get patched first. Um, each tie gets a, a uh, special material for specifically designed for patching the ties. And then 
the spray on product gets applied directly to the concrete foundation. Where we have a brick ledge, which is this case, um, it's important to waterproof to the top of the brick ledge uh, so that any water that hangs in the brick cavity is, um, has a, a barrier to entry. Uh, the other thing that we are applying to the outside of this particular job uh, is an upgrade which is protection and drainage board. And that gets applied below the brick ledge down to the footing. The purpose of the drain board is to give added protection and added drainage. So if we have this product alone, which we can, we can is a standalone product, will provide a 10 year warranty. The adding of the drain board gives you a 20 year warranty. And what it does is three things. Um, it gives you protection from uh, damage during construction or backfill. It gives you a second layer of waterproofing, which is a hard dimple board uh, layer, a sheet membrane. And it gives you a drainage medium so that the fabric that's on the outside of the dimple board actually creates an air gap which allows water as it accumulates toward against the foundation to drop in free fall down to the drain tile. At the bottom, we'll be installing a drain tile with a, uh, a, a layer of, of gravel and filter cloth on top. And so that's, that's the goal here is to get this foundation uh, waterproofed with drain board and drain tile. We like to offer a package to our customers that includes multiple services like waterproofing and drain tile because it allows us to have control of the process from start to finish without gaps or it makes it easy on the customer to be able to not have to make that second call for waterproofing and know that we're going to go straight into it. Same would apply to the slab. Our crews go straight into stoning the basement. It's been graded out pretty well for ready for stone. The plumber uh, works in conjunction with the, the builder and with us to get the groundworks done. Um, and uh, it's a pretty seamless process to go straight into to flat work. We have um, garages and porches in the back some of which don't get waterproofed, as you can see, um, because they are backfilled on both sides with, with dirt. We also offer excavation services so that uh, the package is complete. We will then offer the service of backfilling um, and really the foundation for the customer is ready for a carpenter pretty soon after we get started we're we're ready for that next phase so that's where we are out here and we uh have some block layers working on site that are not um they're working directly for the general contractor. As you can see, they're getting ready for less block us by the foundation. Critical details with waterproofing is to make sure that backfill does not occur above the waterproofing line. Um, you also want to make sure that your backfill material is stable and sloping away from the foundation. Those are critical items to keep track of during the construction process and particularly at the end before landscaping uh, because that is the source of pretty much any possible water problem uh, that could occur. With these systems, the water problem down low won't happen. It's always at the top of the 
usually something leaking above the waterproofing. And if there's any questions, I'd be glad to uh, to feel them at any time. Just feel free to call me, and I'll uh, be glad to walk anyone through what we do at the Bartley Corporation with related to um, concrete construction, waterproofing, excavation. And there you have it. Have you have a great day. I yes. have a quick question. Can I, how do you finish the outside with the waterproofing or is that all underground? How do we finish the outside? Yeah, the foundation or is it, or is that all um, covered by your excavation? Yeah, everything that is, um, most everything that you see that is black. Here he goes. Uh, most everything you see that that is is black is covered um in this case the waterproofing line is a little bit above grade because it's also protecting behind the brick cavity uh at the uh okay brick veneer but typically if there's no brick ledge it's going to be the waterproofing line is going to be it's going to stop at grade and the key is to backfill all the way to the top of the waterproofing but not above right so if you're not doing brick ledges you would just paint it as or whatever as normal right above above grade yes if you're not doing brick ledge you're going to leave it exposed above grade so that uh we don't see the the, the black waterproofing right. uh when you look at the side of the house. And typically, it's gonna be a brick pattern. Right. Uh, in this area, if it's exposed, it's typically gonna be a brick pattern and, and uh, it's very commonly right. painted. So you wanna leave the, the waterproofing at the grade line and you wanna backfill all the way to uh, the top of the waterproofing or a few inches below the top of the gotcha. waterproofing. Showing a little bit of waterproofing is the safest way to go. That way surface water that um, it, you know, is up against the foundation, uh, is still protected. Thank you. Well. Any other questions while we have Jim available? We will take some questions at the end too. Okay. Um, thank you, Jim. That was awesome. Appreciate it. Have a great You're day. Very yeah, I, I assume you're going to stay on for questions, but you have a weak bandwidth. We might lose you, so you might have to get to power. Okay, okay. great. Um, this is George. Hi, all. I'm George Hassan, <laughs> Director of Business Development here at Barley. How's everyone doing today? I'm Good. sure they all said great. Great. So I'm going to have George um, show you some of the technology tools that we use to communicate with, with our guys, um, our teams and the people in the field and the benefits that come from that from a management standpoint, from a convenience standpoint and from a service standpoint to the customer. You want to say anything? Yeah, so today we'll just be going over what we have is daily huddles, which uh, we conduct out in the field. And then another type of program that we use is Slack, which is kind of like our in-house um, kind of type of social media kind of type app where you can push out um, newsletters, uh, job photos, um, sales, and uh, all that good stuff. So I'm about to go over on my screen, share it, and kind of give you guys a little demo of that. No, you're going to talk through that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first up we have here is our daily huddle. Uh, this is accessed through our CRM. Um, and Andy Bartley actually created this in-house um, through Zoho and it basically kind of it goes out to the crew we each give a select there's like we have a select group of logins so it's not really tricky not everyone has their own login if they remember passwords it's very universal um, so they basically get onto the job site and the first thing they do is get together as a crew 
open this app, our foreman, and they'll start from the top. So they'll select the crew number. Next thing they'll do is what we're going to accomplish today. So basically they're setting up goals for the day, knowing what they have to get done, whether it's getting into the footings, setting up their slabs, um, walls, you know, what material they're gonna need and so on. So it keeps them on track every day on, on what to look forward to. Then the next thing they do is look for safety hazards. Um, we try to ask for three or more. Um, you know, sometimes you may not get three, but that's what we strive for. Um, and that could be anything. Like if you're gonna pour footings, you know, is splashing gonna be one? You know, are we gonna have scaffolding for, for setting up wall? So you just look for different things, trip hazards, um, rebar caps, all that good stuff. Uh, picture of hazards. So if we have, um, like we're setting up fall protection on a basement, you know, sometimes they'll take a picture of the basement with the scaffolding around um, and that way they'll send it out and that gets sent out to everybody um, in the company once they submit, right? Pretty sure. So that way everyone is making everybody aware of different possible safety hazards on a job. Um, then they'll review the previous day uh, close call, you know, whether they ran into any crazy hazards, whether there was, you know, an incident that could have happened that they prevented for, by doing this. And again, that gets shared with everybody. Next is the safety checklist. So they'll go through all their equipment, make sure they have, you know, their eye protection, PPE, hard hat, you know, they're checking, you know, their wires if we're plugging into anything, just all that stuff that keeps them safe and make sure that they have everything they need to complete um, the job safely. Employee fill out, so they'll put their name of the foreman that's here, the email and stuff that come, kind of comes up with whoever's logged into the account. And then the foreman will sign and submit. And once that gets submitted, that gets sent into our office. We see that they've completed their daily huddle and we know they're good to go for the day. And that, and that keeps the PMs and everyone in the office you know, up to date on what's going on in the field, how they're handling certain situations. You know, maybe our estimators need to price different safety options or scaffolding or depending on, on the job, but it keeps everyone pretty self-aware of kind of how everything's going on. Um, I know I kind of ran through that pretty quick. Are there any questions kind of on how it works or any, anything that I might've missed? No, good to go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to Slack next. So Slack is, is like I said, is kind of our in-house social media platform, a way to get access to all of our employees without sending that kind of like really kind of annoying email or having to pick up and call everybody individually. So even our guys out in the field from foreman to all crew members um, in the office, I have it, Jim, I mean, everyone has it. So it's really nice and an easy way to communicate. Um, it's set up with a toggle bar on the side. So you'll have, it starts with benefits, hiring, job photos, um, one Bartley family, paycheck stuff for reviews, safety and sales. Um, and this is again, most of the stuff is linked to our internal systems like our sales is listed to our CRM. So if an estimator closes a job and sells it, it pops up on everyone's phones um, that's included in the sales channel. And all these channels can be specific to different departments as well. So it's not like if you just make paycheck stuff for everybody in the company can see it, you can manage that, put the group of people that you need in there and send out the alerts that way. Um, a big thing that we love to use Slack for is job photos, which I'm in right now. And that way it allows all of our crews to submit different job photos of the work that they do. And, you know, we're always in the office, so we don't always get to go out and appreciate all the stuff that our guys do. And they get to post it. They get, you know, everyone gets to see it, give them the good job and it looks great. And, you know, they get that, they get to see that and know that their work is appreciated. And then we also post anything that, you know, issues, like you can see here, you can see our guys working through different issues. Um, and so on. So it's a great way to really stay connected out in the field without having to spend a lot of the time out in the field um, from an office perspective. And then same thing with safety, you know, different, different things here that our, our project managers will see, 
that they'll post in for other project managers. So instead of getting them all together every day to talk about different safety things, they can post into Slack and remind each other daily that these are the little things that we're seeing on jobs that you need to keep an eye out for. Um, even our fleet manager, I mean, on, on handling our cars, anything, it's a great way to just stay connected with everybody in the company from a safety perspective. Um, we can post videos, pictures, you know, sometimes you get some jokesters in here, it happens, but it's a great way to keep, we found it a really great way to keep morale up, stay connected with everyone in the company from out in the field and in the office. Um, and like I said, it's really easy to use. You can set up different channels um, and Wait, keep show, going from there. Show them, the, show them this, like one of the sales ones, just so. Oh yeah. So in sales, um, once you sell a job, it, it gives you what job it is, where it's at, um, who sold it and the amount and which is really, really awesome. So you can see from any type of sales perspective or to a million dollar job, everyone can see it. It's the whole sales team. And, you know, we get to kind of celebrate and do everything in our own chat and, and know what work is coming up and, and be excited for the year and the quarter. So that's kind of, that's kind of the quick run view. Um, everyone in here chats. It gives you birthday updates, you know, kind of embarrasses you a little bit here and there. Shout out when it's your birthday. It lets you know any events that are going on. Um, it's great for HR. I know um, our HR team loves it. It's an easy way for them to push out anything, whether it's, you know, different changes that are coming up, events that are coming up. It's a, it's a great way to stay connected um, all the way around. Any questions on that? I know I talked. We're about to do, pretty, I think, pretty questions quick. and answers. Yeah, so we're perfect. Okay. Time. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Actually, I just want to do one more video, and yeah. then we'll, we'll do that. So let's just get that one. Uh, hold up here. My name is Andy Bartley. I'm a second generation Bartley Corp leader. I'd like to tell you a little bit about what we do, what our customers are saying, and a brief history. We're a residential turnkey foundation contractor located in Silver Spring, Maryland. We routinely do excavation, concrete footings, walls, slabs, waterproofing and drain tile, and site concrete. In the commercial world, we do footings, concrete walls, slab on grade, and slab on metal decks. We constantly get complimented on our outstanding work. Customers love us because we handle the beginning of the job, a very difficult part of any project, and we get their project off to a great start. In the 1970s, my Uncle Buck and Father Tom brought poured concrete walls to the DC metropolitan area. Customers loved our service, quality, and production so much that they requested that we handle the entire foundation. We listened. Customers that used us in residential requested us on commercial concrete projects. Today, we are the go-to concrete subcontractor for the finest residential builders and commercial contractors. So we hope you enjoyed that presentation and um, we are thrilled that it worked out as well as it did. So thank you to the folks that helped us make it happen, mostly Andy. <laughs> and if anybody has any questions, we would be delighted to try and answer them. Um, and I am looking forward to hopefully meeting some new people as a result of this. My name is Liz and um, uh, Chris has, uh, all of my contact information. If I can be uh, of any help to you, I'd love to get to know you a little bit better. Thanks. You guys did a great job with this. Thanks. It was, it, it was fun. It worked out. So anybody else they want to add? So, 
sometimes we're asked about um, how we're structured for um, new builders or existing builders. And um, what we've created in the last handful of years is a team system where um, an estimator, project manager, and crews tend to be on the tend to be on the same customer projects, um, you know, currently and in the future. So um, we found that that it's a lot of consistency going the right way. Um, it's familiarity, so you're not getting a different set of crews every single job. Um, it works in our favor for communication and makes everything simpler for our customers, which is what we strive to do. Um, so sometimes that comes up as a question, what, you know, how are you guys set up for new customers or, um, or you know, what, what are you doing to, to be different? And that's, that's one of the things that we've discovered and are, are, are proud of having teams tailored to our customers. I'd have to say we got a passion for optimizing the foundation construction process, and we like to do it uh, with our customers, um, bringing solutions to them. We really focus on four pillars of success. Uh, safety, we got to make sure we're not hurting anybody out there. Efficiency, the customer needs that. Uh, shining accuracy, which means we're accurate and the job looks good. And then customer satisfaction. Without our customers, we are uh, unable to uh, serve. So we need them to be satisfied. So that's what we do, and we try and do it every day as best we can uh, by bringing solutions. That's a perfect wrap up, Jim, I think. Any other questions from any participants? We're Glad to at least be able to connect with people some way. Thanks so much, Liz. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Thanks Jim. Chris. Thank you, Liz. Thank you all very Thank much. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye now.